hindi naman dating ganyan, no? Dahil yan, sa di magandang ugaling pagtatapon ng basura kung saan-saan. Lalo na, yung plastic. Tulog tayo ba, ha? Na pinagbumulan ng mga sakit. Ay, kailang kaya tayo magbabago? Hindi pa huli ang lahat. Pagtulong-tulungan natin. Disiplina sa tamang pagtatapon ng basura. Pumpisahan natin sa plastic. Ngayon na. Pero ang love ko sa'yo, hindi magbabago. Mm, hindi plastic yan, ha? Hindi, ha? It is imperative that we live in harmony with our environment. During the past centuries, mankind has learned a great deal studying the earth. Nature has been kind, and she gave mankind the freedom to explore and become smarter each passing day. She opened doors of opportunities, innovations for mankind to discover more about the environment its collection of exquisite flora and fauna, magnificent landforms, splendid waters, and all the marine treasures underneath. The Philippines is a classic manifestation of nature's kindness. Blessed with an abundant supply of natural resources, the Philippines is indeed a miracle in itself. But nature has her limits. People have been busy, thinking, creating things that make living easier. They are neglecting something, the very thing that taught them how and why. It is our very environment that is being forgotten. With the rapid population growth, unstoppable technological advancements, urbanization and industrialization, more opportunities are within reach. But dangers such as floods, communicable illnesses, and life-threatening diseases are far more extensive to risk. The primary culprit, improper solid waste management. The proper management of solid waste is the key in solving this perennially growing problem. Since 1938, in the time of President Manuel Luis Quezon, attempts to save the environment from the ill effects of improper garbage disposal have been prevalent. The Anti-Dumping Law Act prohibited the dumping of waste in rivers. The 1976 Sanitation Code of the Philippines pushed for a more urbane method of collecting, transporting, and disposing garbage in each of the cities and municipalities. The Ecological Solid Waste Management Act of 2000 pursued community-based composting and recycling. These efforts to protect the environment are a clear indicator that indeed there is an urgent need to act now. Let us go hand in hand to provide our people the knowledge and information they need to implement solid waste management procedures in their own homes. The National Solid Waste Management Commission has set guiding principles and best practices to lessen and prevent the ill effects of poor solid waste management. The Roles of Household and Commercial Centers 1. Prevent the Creation of Waste 2. Segregation and Proper Storage The Roles of LGU all elements of society are fundamentally responsible for solid waste management. But it is you, the local government units, who are given the overall responsibility to decide how your community's solid waste will be managed, how services should be provided, who provides the service, and under what condition this takes place. Here is a course of action to better guide you in the implementation of proper waste management towards a cleaner, fresher environment. Information dissemination. 
LGUs are tasked to disseminate information on the proper handling of wastes in households, commercial, and industrial institutions. LGUs shall promulgate regulations requiring residents to use a separate container for each type of waste. These containers shall be properly marked or identified for door-to-door -door collection as compostable, non-recyclable, recyclable, or special waste. Collection and Transport of Solid Waste LGUs are expected to provide an adequate and efficient system of collecting, transporting, and disposing solid waste products in their areas of jurisdiction in conformity with the provisions of RA 9003. Collection Standards and Requirements All personnel dealing with collection of solid waste shall be equipped with personal protective equipment to protect them from the hazards of handling solid wastes. They should also be given the necessary training to ensure that the solid wastes are handled properly and in accordance with the guidelines set by the law. Collection shall be done in a manner which prevents damage to the container and spillage or scattering of solid waste within the collection vicinity. Transport Requirements The use of separate collection schedules and or separate trucks or haulers shall be required for specific types of wastes. Vehicles should be designed to consider road size, condition, and capacity to ensure the safe and efficient collection and transport of solid wastes. The waste collection vehicle shall have a cover to ensure the containment of solid wastes while in transit. Vehicles shall bear the body number, the name, and telephone number of the contractor agency collecting solid waste. Recycling Establishment and Implementation of Reclamation Programs and Buyback Centers for Recyclables NSWMC The National Ecology Center shall assist LGUs in establishing and implementing deposit or reclamation programs in coordination with manufacturers, recyclers, and generators to provide separate collection systems or convenient drop-off locations for recyclable materials. Establishment of LGU Materials Recovery Facility Every barangay or cluster of barangays shall establish a Materials Recovery Facility or MRF. The MRF is designed to receive segregated waste for final sorting and composting. Our starting point, plastics. The guidelines are all in place. All it takes is to rev up and start driving. Most of the garbage that litter the streets of the metropolis is plastic. Plastics are everywhere. Candy wrappers, water cups and bottles, soda plastics, market plastic bags, various plastic containers, everything plastic. We must act now. We can begin dealing with plastics. Plastic wastes are the primary cause of drainage, esteros, and river clogging, subsequently resulting to urban flooding. Floods bring about sanitation-related illnesses such as communicable and other life-threatening diseases. It is not too late to save properties and lives. Let us reach out to our people and let them know the grave effects a simple toss of a candy wrapper may cause. We urge you to be concerned. It is high time that we make up for all the blessings nature had selflessly given us. Disiplina sa tamang pagtatapon ng basura. Umpisahan natin sa plastic. Ngayon na.